just got some great news. We're going to be working the 2022 sugar beet harvest in North Dakota, September and October. So I'm going to tell you about that in this video. Jan and I, by the way, my name is Kevin Rutledge, <clears throat> are going to be going on September the 27th is the first date of our orientation and training. So we're psyched. Uh, we're in Virginia now, so it's going to take a few days to drive up there. And what you do is you, first you have to apply. And I'm going to tell you about the process. It's super easy to apply. There's a website. And I'll put the website right here. You go to the website and then you make your application and you fill out all these forms. Not that much, actually. Then they give you a call. We had a great experience talking with Tracy on the phone. No problem. Just answering all the basic questions and ticking off all the boxes. So we've been thinking about this sugar beet harvest thing for years. I've been looking at videos and watching people do this. It's called work camping. And the great thing, there's two things that are great about this particular job. It's short term. It could be two, three, max four weeks. And the money is quick. And you make a lot in comparison because you're working, get this, 12 hour days standing on your feet. So you got to be ready to do some work. And so we're excited and we're ready to do that. So a lot of people seem to think that we actually go out there physically, like migrant workers, and pull these big heavy beets out of the ground. We don't do that. They have farm machinery that does all that. Basically, you're like assisting the processing of all these beets up through conveyor belts and off of trucks, and you're pushing buttons, and you're telling the trucks to go a certain way, and you're scanning things. So it's not like it's ditch digging type, you know, manual farm labor, but it is hard work because you are on your feet for 12 hours a day. Okay, so I got all excited when I started thinking about this for those reasons I mentioned before, that the money's good and also it's a short-term job. I don't want to be leaving, you know, where I am for a long, long, long time. So this is just a short-term uh, thing. The company is called American Crystal Sugar and they need workers so there's plenty of room for you. If you want to go ahead and sign up for this short-term gig, you can go to that website and make your application. They really keep telling us, we need people. Do you have friends? We could, we could really use them. You know, it's a minimum requirement. Just please call your friends and round them up and let's, let's go to North Dakota and do this thing. So that's really, really exciting. Um, we got... You know, through the months, and we've been working with them since April, and we made application and all that stuff, and, um, you know, they finally gave us a date last week on what date we are to arrive. So we're supposed to arrive on the 26th of September, and then orientation and training starts the next morning at 10 o'clock. Now, what if you don't have an RV? I mean, this is mostly RVers that stay there, and they live in their own RV place. By the way, they provide a free campground. If you want to stay there with um, hookups in most places and electricity and so you know you could do that as an RVer but there are also people that don't have an RV and what if you don't well guess what they put you up in a hotel for the duration of the work and it's so minimal we're gonna pay only $50 a week for the hotel so that's gonna really work for us so we can just drive up there check in and get all of that stuff taken care of. It's really exciting. So you have to, there's one catch here. You have to commit through all of October because the weather controls when they pull the sugar beets out of the ground. So they start you around end of September, of October 1st is the official start date. But this is our first time, so we don't really know exactly when they're gonna start with the machinery pulling the beets out of the ground. But we have to be there on the 27th of September and then commit through all of October. Here's why. Although you might only work 14 days, 
at your job in that time period, you will work a long day, a 12 hour day, but what if it snows or what if it gets too hot? They shut down the work because of that, because it has to do with the content of the sugar in the sugar beet. So the weather has to be perfect before you actually work. So generally what happens is you work a few days or a week and then the weather gets too cold or gets too hot. And then they say, okay, day off tomorrow, maybe day off the next day. So that's why you have to commit through the end of October to make sure everybody knows that you'll be ready to work the whole season uh, if necessary. But it could be just two weeks. So, you know, the pay is really good. It's $18 an hour. It's not that great a pay. Uh, it's higher than being a lifeguard or being a substitute teacher. But in any case, you know, you, the thing about it is you're working 12 hour days. After you do your 40 day, 40 hour week, the time is time and a half pay. And all day Saturday, it's time and a half pay. And then all day Sunday, it's double time pay. So you can make a lot of quick money just by working this for a, a few weeks. So that's really the reason why we're going, why we're excited. All right, now I got a question for you. See if you will uh, talk back to me on my, on my video here. I've got to wear certain kinds of clothing, basically grunge clothing, you know, old jeans, old t-shirt, flannel shirt, hoodie, you know, mask, gator things. Uh, so you gotta do that. But when it comes to shoes, I'm debating just a little bit. I've got this old pair of really comfortable hiking boots. They don't want you wearing tennis shoes. In fact, you can't. So I got this old pair of hiking boots that I thought I'd bring and wear and get really dirty. What do you think? Should I just wear these or should I go out and get me a pair of old work boots at the thrift store? So I'm just going to ask you that. Tell me, let me know what you think. What would you do? Also, you better believe I'm going to put in some gel insoles to keep my feet nice and comfortable throughout the whole 12 hour shift. So that's the news guys. I'm psyched. Have I covered everything? I think so. If you have questions, put it into the, uh, the uh, comments below and I'll try to get back to you. I'm psyched. Let's go do the sugar peat harvest 2022. See you later.